excited by this video today. I'm always quite excited, as you know, but today really excited because I'm actually going to show you some software that I use every single day. Because as you might know, because I sometimes mention it, I make these videos from the back of the van. I'm not going to claim that I am Mr. Van Life and I travel around with a van, but I got a cheap van. Uh, because it was just a bit of an experiment, really, because I'm a bit of a mad scientist, and I am going to get my other YouTube channel going soon with all the crazy experiments with solar and how to power stuff. I'm, I want to try the diesel heaters in these vans, the Chinese diesel heaters. I want to make a video trying to... I've, I've seen a couple of people who've done it, but I want to heat a house <laughs> with a diesel heater because I'm sure it's cheaper than, you know, gas central heating, the way the energy crisis and prices have gone up. But watch this video. I'm going to show you some stuff, that uh, some software that helps you bond your internet so that you've got consistent internet wherever you go. I'm actually cheating today. I'm actually at home. So a quick guided tour of the van. Here we go. Um, if I pull my blind up, oh, all the secrets are coming out now, aren't they? Pulled it the wrong way. Yeah, it's the back of a van. This van isn't much to look, look at, by the way. So here we go. That's the outside. It's grim today. I'm actually cheating because where are we? I'm actually plugged in. There you go. Uh, but that's one of the main problems in the van. Do you want a really quick guided tour? By the way, the decor was... I bought it off somebody. All right, so I didn't pick the pink curtain. Uh, yeah. Uh, or the flamingo sign, but it's cool. All right. Um, and the reason that I needed the bonded internet is because I want... Well, two reasons. Number one, so I've got internet everywhere. Uh, and number two, so that because I, I do as well as making these videos, I host virtual events for uh, big companies. I work for a company and we do team building events and I need that Internet to be consistent. Uh, I, don't know, I should pull that down again. Anyway, back to million. Yeah, it's all right. So it looks like a sauna, doesn't it? Anyway. Yeah. So I need the Internet. So what bonding does now, the first time that people use Internet bonding um, uh, to um, how bonding is, it's bonding different signals. So it could be Wi-Fi and cellular you know 4g plus wi-fi or whatever so that you've got and, and all of that go, takes place and it makes one internet connection why do you need that well say you're doing live streaming i think it was invented by the bbc when they had the 2012 olympics and they had the torch relay going around the country and they wanted it to be filmed and go out live so it was a live stream consistently so they had a van and in the van they had four different internet connections from at the time it would have been back in the day uh, orange wouldn't it and and, and sell it <laughs> i'm going back yeah and they're bonded all together so that if one signal dropped off the other one would pick up because obviously all over the country uh the one place might have good signal for one network, but not the other. That's basically how it works. Right. I've got to be... Much as I want to talk about my van and all the crazy stuff I do, like solar panels and big batteries, and, you know, that's one of the biggest problems now the winter is here. I mean, I'm plugged in. I'm cheating at home today. But, you know, how to get the power? Because, believe it or not, a decent spec laptop does eat the power. Um, so, yeah. Um, and I'll just get the other channel set up. But let's jump in. This software is called Speedify. And why Speedify is really good... Here we go. Um, is that it is just a piece of software. It's a subscription based software, but it's not expensive and it just sits on your computer and it automatically starts. Let's jump in and let me show you Speedify. Here we go. Uh, now this is full screen now. I don't normally have it full screen. I have it much smaller than that. But uh, you can see that right now I am streaming with two internet connections. Now, how do you connect these and how does it work? So I've got a three connection and I've got an EE connection. One of them is a MiFi dongle, so it's creating a Wi-Fi signal. And the three network, that is my Wi-Fi connection. You can see there's the Wi-Fi. Uh, you can have multiple Wi-Fis, um, but you probably, say you're doing it on your laptop, you'd have one, the main computer's Wi-Fi, plus maybe one USB plug-in Wi-Fi device, and you could have two like that. Uh, and I've also got plugged into the laptop via a USB it goes via a USB cable extension because obviously I want to get them. As I have aerials on my roof and everything. I will make you a video of the van soon. If you ask in the comments, I will show you it round. But only if you ask. And that's basically, it's a dongle, you know, like a, that would plug in. So they're my two connections. Um, and if I wanted to as well, I could have a, you know, through the RJ45 lead, I could have a wired connection as well. There's no reason why you couldn't have four, five, six. It's just getting them all set up. Uh, the only time I had a couple of problems, because I'll, I'll, I'll be transparent with Speedify, but it is when I tried to plug two separate Wi-Fi dongles in, it didn't like it. But 
you know, ways around it. Once you've got your connections, what it does. So you can see that I've got the three set up on primary and the EE on secondary. The reason I've got primary three is I get it unlimited. All right, so that's a subscription where I have unlimited internet, whereas the three, I think I've got 15 gig on that. So I don't want to use that one up because then I'd run out. All right, so, but you can, it's easy to set up so I can make that EE one. If I wanted to make that one primary, I could make it primary or secondary or backup. So you might have a primary, a secondary, and you might have just some emergency SIM just in case both of them failed at the same time. Um, when I do my live streams for events, I make them both primary. So yes, I do use some of the data up on that one. But uh, the great thing is, is that if, you know, I don't want anything dropping off when I'm doing a live event because at the end of the day, I'm getting paid by a company. And if I go all glitchy, then the people who have booked, it, booked me will complain. So that's why. And that's how it works. And they all sit in there. And let's just do the quick tests here. So uh, if I wanted to test the speed test, here we go. This is just the pure speed. And this will vary wherever you are. These are only 4G internets I've got. I've not got 5G yet, so it's not rapid, rapid, rapid. And I'm not looking to get, like, you know, 100 megabytes a second or anything like that. All I want is a decent speed so that, number one, I can upload my YouTube videos. But mainly that when I'm doing a live stream or a live video, I get a consistent um, stream. And it doesn't let me down. So here's just the speed test, which is showing that I've got a download speed of 5 megabytes per second and an upload speed of 10 megabytes per second, which is fine. Um, depending on where I am, when I'm driven around, sometimes I get that up to 20 and 30. Just I'm at, I'm at home today and it's, it's actually not that good at home. So it's just a piece of software. I don't have it displayed normally. No, I just normally have it. And you can see down the bottom of the screen, I'll have it. Where is it? Oh, I've got to move me out of the way. Hang on. Professional video. Woo. Magic. Um, and it's just there. Can you see it? And I have it automatically starting up when I set up. Just to let you know about Speedify, a couple of things. I'll move me back over there. <laughs> uh, Manycam, I used to make these videos, by the way. Manycam, link in the description. Um, you can switch it on and off. The only thing that sometimes happens with Speedify is that it is a VPN. And sometimes with the VPN, say I wanted to go onto the BBC site, it thinks I'm in a foreign country and it doesn't let me have full access. So sometimes I have to turn it off to access certain things. Um, yeah, because it works like a VPN. So if you do subscribe to it, it also gives you a virtual private network as well in the subscription cost. Um, it's not just for people who live in the back of vans or travel in the back of vans. Speedify could also be used for business people or anybody who's traveling. And you might have your laptop with Speedify and you've worked out so that you can plug your phone in for one internet and on the Wi-Fi connection, you could connect up to the hotel's internet and you could have that set as the primary. So you want to use the data, free data from the hotel or McDonald's or wherever. And then if that fails, go onto your phone internet or if you really needed internet, you could have it, um, you know, set up for different networks. Of course, if your business, you know, is out on the road and you've got people working for you in the workforce and they need a laptop to work at all costs, Speedify could be an inexpensive tool and piece of software you could add onto um, their you know, computer so they can connect up to multiple internet sources. There are, of course, hardware options available to do this, but you know, you're looking at hundreds of pounds uh, before you even start. So software version is called Speedify and that's basically what it does. It bonds your internet connection. And I live on it and I couldn't survive without it. So, um, yeah, highly recommended. If you want to try it out, there's the link in the description. Um, you'll find all the details there with hopefully a discount code. I've not spoke to them yet, but hopefully I'll uh, have a word with Speedify and they will give you a discount code. So check it out. Um, tell me what you think about it. Tell me if you are, if you found this video because you're traveling in vans, what you use to bond your internet connection. It could just be that you're, you're living in the van and you want to share your and your partner's internet connection or the kids as well. So that when you all settle down to watch a movie, uh, you can stream the movie without it glitching or jittering uh, and uh, share everybody's internet connection. Because most people probably have unlimited internet on their phones. So definitely recommended because I use it all the time. Uh, great piece of kit. It's called Speedify.